So then Sarah have been working with Dublin City Council via Smart Docklands for just over two years now. During that time we've deployed small cells on public lighting, traffic lights in this urban environment to understand really when we move towards future networks like 5G, how to best deploy networks for mobile operators to benefit their end users. When we think of networks in the future, they're essentially going to become the road network and dense air, making sure that there's going to be no dead ends, allowing drones to operate in the side streets of a city for emergency services, for healthcare and for delivering pizzas. At the moment, drones require a wireless connection with their pilots on the ground. This means that they can fly only up to a kilometre or so away from their controller. If we can find a way to control the drones using the mobile phone network, which has widespread infrastructure, we could remove this range limitation. This would unlock the full potential of drones and allow them to be used in applications such as search and rescue. At the Connect Research Centre, we are researching ways to allow the mobile phone network to achieve this. Artificial intelligence could play a big role in controlling the drones over long distances by improving connectivity between a drone and a wireless network. In Connect, within SFI funded Satori project, we are focusing on exactly that. We are looking at how AI can help make connectivity decisions smart enough that can adapt to the changing conditions that the drone encounters and adapt to them on the fly, quite literally in the drone case. However, in order to enable that, uh, we need to collect data on how does drone interact with the network as it is now in the base scenario, which is why our collaboration with Densair and Dublin City Council is very beneficial. Uh, it's been great working together with Connect and Densair on this uh, research project. Again, it's the combination of months of work, having set up the infrastructure and getting uh, the validation and feedback from the researchers at Connect to see that this is a truly uh, working and future thinking sort of network that could um, expand in time to come and uh, get a glimpse of what you know the near future might look like.